Hey guys, my name is Patrick Hall. I'm one of the owners of the photography website F-Stoppers and I live here in beautiful Puerto Rico. F-Stoppers is a pretty big photography website that features free daily content, but primarily I'm focused on creating educational material in the form of tutorials and YouTube videos like this. During the beginning of the pandemic last year, I decided to completely demolish our old studio and rebuild it from the ground up. Hopefully you guys enjoy this process as much as I did. Did I enjoy this process? Would I do this again? Either way, I hope you guys enjoy this and welcome to the brand new F-Stopper studio. Now this video is sponsored by Photo Plus Expo. Yes, Photo Plus is back in New York City at the Javits Center. It's one of my all time favorite photo conventions in the entire world. I've been to quite a few myself. This year it's taken place September 30th through October 2nd. You can go to the link below and register and sign up. And if you've never been to Photo Plus before, it's a playground for everyone from professionals to aspiring photographers to longtime hobbyists. Basically anyone in the photography world is going to enjoy this event. You'll be able to roam around the convention floor, grab and test brand new gear, check out some free education from some of the industry's best photographers. And if you want to push your career even further, you can bring your entire portfolio up, have it critiqued by some of the most influential creative directors in the industry, and they'll give you some feedback on how you could get those awesome jobs with some of the biggest brands in the world. So 2021, New York City, photoplusexpo.com, sign up for free, we'll all reunite together, and who knows, maybe I'll see you in the Big Apple. So the day has come to where we're finally going to renovate the studio. We have all of this gear that we're trying to like sell and rearrange and organize. Let me just walk you through what this place looks like because you may never see it like this again. The old F-Stopper studio is a 2,000 square foot space located behind my previous residence in Charleston, South Carolina. Before I bought this property, the space was used as a daycare probably 20 years ago, and as you can see, it's pretty strange and awkward. Drop ceiling tiles, exterior walls that are now interior walls, and all sorts of weird building features made this space full of character, but not in a good way. Seven years ago, I spent about $20,000 upgrading the bathroom, adding carpeting to the concrete slab section of the space, and adding <laughs> luxury vinyl flooring to the main studio room. We also built this really cool cyclorama wall. It's really crazy to look back and think this space was home to six years of photography content, a couple workshops in the Bahamas, dozens of full-length tutorials, and all sorts of shenanigans. Lee and I were really never proud to bring people over to our studio, but it also goes to show that you don't need a fancy studio space to get quality work done. But all of that is about to change because with everything shut down from a pandemic and me living in Puerto Rico, this place is in serious need of a makeover. So I have been meticulously planning and designing the studio space um, using this new program. I don't know if it's new, but it's called Planner 5D. And basically it allows me to build walls and set carpet and floors and put furniture in there and draw dimensions and you know install everything but what's really cool about this is if i hit the 3d button check this out it like allows me to explore the rooms that i just built and so the idea here is that um, i'm going to have one longer shooting space than what we currently have it's going to be about the same width we're still going to have a post-production studio up here that's going to be quiet with carpeted uh, flooring and it's going to have its own little private bathroom with a shower a jacuzzi tub and stuff so you could actually stay here if you wanted and then we have a half bath down here that will enter into this secondary studio and the secondary studio is kind of designed to be more of a live set um, I also want to have different furniture that could be used just to hang out but if we want to throw in a couch into this set we have room for maybe a couch, maybe a single chair. Um, and then this space in here is gonna have a couple of workspaces. We're gonna have an area where we can review gear. If you're watching this video, you've also seen our electronic paper roll here. I can hold up to, I think, six or eight paper rolls that we can electronically bring down. So that will be really cool. And then finally, if I turn this around this way, there's still plenty of space to shoot against this wall, so I might make this some kind of accent wall if we want to completely turn it around and shoot that way. And then we also have a cove that I'm going to build, which is very similar to what we have in Puerto Rico, where we can drop down two huge gravity backdrops and kind of make a faux wall. And then we can put a couch here 
and still shoot back into this space as well. So that is my idea for the studio. I don't know if it's ever gonna really look like this, but I guess here in a minute, you're going to find out as we build this and start framing everything. So 2,000 square feet in total. So if this design works, and we'll have to see as this video goes on, but this could be the perfect man cave, the perfect mother-in-law suite, or the perfect photo studio. So we'll see how it goes. Now the plan is to raise this whole space up so that it's all one level and get rid of all of this. This is on a slab, so we will build this out and make it one continuous level. We will lose a little bit of space. I think from here to here is about 14 feet. And then from this floor to the ceiling is 10 feet. So we're still gonna have pretty large ceilings, but we will get rid of all of this. And then this will become our new shooting space. I think we're gonna get rid of the psych wall. We rarely shoot full body in here. And as you can see, this distance to here is probably like 12 feet, which is not the most usable space. You really want something even wider than 12 feet, but um, got all our backdrops and everything. So this is all gonna go out. Essentially, this wall is gonna get broken down and uh, we're gonna get a room that's twice the size of this. I'm worried that I have some termite damage behind this wall, but I'm gonna have to deal with that later. We still have some of our gravity backdrops that I have to remove. I'm getting rid of some of these doors. We're gonna redo everything brand new. So the project for today is we have this really cool remote electric paper system where we can just have all of our paper come down. I think uh, the company is Denny Manufacturing. These are actually pretty expensive, but we had a photographer in town give us this uh, because he doesn't do studio work anymore. This thing is a beast to install, but it holds, I think it holds seven different rolls. And these rolls I think are 11 feet long. So we're definitely gonna wanna use this in the next studio build. But the goal for today is to get up here, pull all of these down, get into the attic, uninstall these. They're like bolted into the rafters there and get this whole system down. I also have like a manual one here with some paper and then probably get this one down over here so that is the goal for today or for the next hour. I think every day I am trying to do so much stuff. We just have so many things we have to move and get out of here um, because hopefully demo is gonna happen in like a week and a half. All right, we are making progress in here. We have almost got this place entirely empty. I know it doesn't look like it, but trust me, we got the cabinets gone. I've started removing some of the wood just so this will be a lot easier, but all of this gear that isn't selling, we are donating to a school. So we have our friend Ed here and we just given him so much equipment. He's also gonna be the proud owner of a few Mike Kelly originals. Yes. So this will be inspiration for your students. <laughs> they were so valuable, they wouldn't sell here in the local market. So we had to, we had to give them away. Yeah. So bad. those are, those are good. We're keeping Lee Morris's photos though. Those are priceless. <laughs> The prints have been gone. We had those huge prints up here. You probably saw that video once before on our channel. And now you can see through the entire space. So I'm standing kind of in the middle of the whole building. But uh, yeah, making progress. Oh, the paper rolls down. That beast is gone. And now this room has got such an echo. Woo! So we're gonna have to soundproof this. If it looks like I'm soaked and I've just worked out, well, I kind of have. I've been up in the attic here and I've been removing all of the cat five and six and seven cable, whatever we've had in there throughout this whole space. I actually have one wire left to get that runs up there. But here is what we are left with. Oh my gosh, I don't know how many feet of cable this is. These are probably all 100 foot runs and I probably have like, 10 of these. This white cable actually is an old phone cable back when we had a F Stoppers phone number here. But the plan, I don't know if any of this is usable. I don't know if I even care if this is usable. But the plan is to replace all of this with this. Got a thousand, thousand feet of Cat6 cable and uh, hopefully That will do it, and this will be a thing of the past. And the goal is to have every wall have a Cat6 cable 
that probably is a little too much for a residential, but you know, here in F-Stoppers, if we're uh, editing video, we have a 10 gigabit switch and 10 gigabit servers, NAS boxes, and so we want to run the fastest amount of data through this. August in Charleston being up in the attic doing home renovations is not necessarily the way I'd like to be spending my summer, but what else can you do with coronavirus? You gotta do something, so. One thing I'm having to do before the demo guys come is I'm trying to salvage anything that I put in here before that might still be able to be used. And one of those is this tub. Unfortunately, I'm gonna lose all this tile, but I did like this jacuzzi tub. It's always treated me well, but I'm having to like cut this thing out so I can pull it out. It has not been easy. And I have just been like ripping up everything trying to get this to work. So I think I have one more week before the demo guys come. It's a lot of work that I'm having to do. I'm not really great with tools, but one thing I have to say is this articulating saw. If you don't have one of these, this is like the greatest tool ever. You can just go in there and just cut out anything without having a big saw blade in your way, so. Stay tuned because in the next episode of This Old Studio, what seemed like all fun and games quickly turns pretty serious. Here we go, they've all left. I wanna see what this place looks like. Oh my gosh. It's like a tornado went off in here. <laughs>